today we have checked into Siyama Hotel, the heart of uh, Sorsogon City. They made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Get him back. Guys, we have arrived at SM City Sorsogon, brand new mall. Just two years ago when me and Ava visited Sorsogon, we got a brand new airport here in Sorsogon in Legazpi. And now they have SM City, which is like biggest mall chain here in the Philippines. Manang's first time! And it's Manang's first time at the mall, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Love it! Yeah, I'm so excited to see the Philippines developing and that all the opportunities are also spreading out from the big cities out to the provincial districts. And coming from Norway, this is how I look at it. And it's very nice to see. I can see so many people coming together here at the mall, having opportunities, a lot of work, but also a place to come together and discuss things. Like there's a big food court in here and a lot of the fashion industries and stuff is also coming. So, you know, it's good. This is development, high scale development. We're very excited. So we're gonna show you the mall now. Very beautiful. Wow, SMC Tiso or Sagan. They even have a Jollibee here. Guys, welcome to my outside office here in the province. I figured out that the Wi-Fi is better out here. <laughs> and I just want to take you through one of the challenges of being with a Filipino. You know, I was having a good time here working. I had my Wi-Fi set up. I was charging my laptop at the same time using the EcoFlow. And then she runs over, plugs in her rice cooker, and she knows that this thing can power the rice cooker now. And it's brown out for 12 hours today. So I guess I won't be charging my laptop because rice is more important. You guys can see here, we can run the rice cooker for 54 minutes with 53% battery. I'm still gonna be able to do some work though. So I have the Wi-Fi and it's work time. Good morning, everyone. Hi, today we are going camping with Manang and the kids here at the property. <laughs> so we brought everything. All right. Let's go! Okay, we have arrived! And our efforts have paid off. We purchased some Jollibee to bring along, rented a Kubo. It's like a family outing. We have our free diving gear with us. We have all the camera gear, but even brought the EcoFlow power bank. So in case we need to charge something, self-sustained. Good research, Ava. Hi, oh, thank him. Thank oh. Angelo, he was the one who mentioned about this place. Thank you, Angelo. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, this thy gift which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord, for the food and a beautiful weather today. Overlooking Mayun Volcano. Wow. Let's eat. And Father and Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, kain na. Pat Martin is showing the boys how he flies the FPV drone. <laughs> so amazing. How, how is it for you, Martin? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> been playing kid for 15 minutes flying my drones and now we are going to go over there and try to jump from the mountains. We're also bringing snorkeling gear so maybe we'll see something beautiful come along. 
learning Filipino beach games. Yes. No, this is a Filipino street game actually. Uh, okay. So this one is called Agawan Base. Uh, like that. Uh. So you have to take care of the base. So that's why one should be there. <laughs> so he's dead. Uh, you can also save. You know? <laughs> This was definitely worth it. We had a lot of fun. We are in the deep jungle, right? At the bottom of Mount Bulusan. <gasps> Bulusan volcano. So we're going to a cold spring that we actually went Hello. yesterday. We had so much fun in this cold spring that we decided, you know what? We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. But it's a Saturday today and it's a long weekend. I'm not so sure if there will be a lot of people. Plus, it'll close in like 30 minutes. So we only have... Actually, it'll close in like 20 minutes. I'm excited for you guys to see this. I now have a new favorite. Sorry, here in this area. We are back at the cold spring once again, but this time we brought mana. Uh, Ave brought mana into the spring. Ah, magbandi. Good morning everyone. Today we have checked into Siyama Hotel in the heart of uh, Sorsogon City. But it is not in the city at all. It's so nice to be here. It's like a jungle retreat, man. And this is our room. Hi, Abe! Oh, we're back! We're back! We've been here three years ago, right before the start of Love lockdown. That. But now we're back and it's so good to be here. And I wanted to show you this room because if you're coming into um, Biko, definitely a place you should check out. So we've done a couple of videos now highlighting different areas, camping, going from Manila to this part of the Philippines. But I think it's also cool to show the upper side of what can be experienced and this is definitely one of those places. So this is our room and I am so in love with the architecture. The people behind this hotel are also furniture designers. So it's kind of like, look at this, every piece is unique. Look at this art piece over here, made by seashells. Like, in reality, it's pretty simple, but 
it still has that like artsy vibe. Big open windows, not that common in the Philippines. Big sliding doors, and it definitely just feels like we're surrounded by jungle. And the best part, they have a big pool in the middle of the property, which we are gonna go down and experience now. So come along. <laughs> Oh, look at this pathway. This is the yeah. number one from Hubat, Sorsogon, and Don Sol. Uh huh. Patrice Abirino. Wow. I, they made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Get him back. Get him back. <laughs> Never let people make fun of you guys. Always stand up for yourself. So beautiful. Are we in the... reminds me of the eco lodge we went in Brazil. Right, but it's the Philippines. No, it's the Philippines. This is the lobby area. So beautiful. And now we're heading to the pool. So nice. Oh, these giant concrete slabs. Like everything about this place is just done right. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Let's I, explore. I don't remember that area. I'm not sure if it was here. This one, no? Let's go check it out. Wow. It's kind of weird, but it gives you so much energy to just be close to nature this way. It's like being at the beach. Look at that view, man. Wow. And then we have tables over here. And then now we are approaching another building. The dining hall. Uh-huh. This way to the dining hall. It's a very big property. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is really cute. Look at this roofing, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Good to explore a little bit, no? Yeah. Yeah. So during the lockdown, my friend invited different local vendors mm. to have a stall here every week. So that was nice. It's like a market here. Uh oh. Nice, nice space. Do you know if you can have your wedding here? Kind of looks perfect. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Wow. I'm going to walk here. Our Philippine wedding. A Filipino wedding. Uh, in Bicol. <laughs> so for those of you who are new to the channel, me and Ave, we got married in Norway five months ago, November 2022. It's very beautiful. Norwegian family, but kind of Filipino twist to it. But we are thinking of doing one in the Philippines as well. Because we have so many friends here and family that didn't get to attend the one in Norway. All those out of the world. One day we will. One day we will. I promise you that. If you guys are having a good day, comment below where you're watching from. I miss this. Yeah, I missed it too. I just realized. <laughs> oh, they've done what I've always said is so important to do if you're building a resort. Make a section where people can just lay in the water like this. So it's deeper over there. But here you have a section where you can just lounge. Love it. Wow. Look at this place. Are you guys seeing this giant cloud? I don't know if it's gonna hit us or not. Let's enjoy it while we can. I love that they have this area that has a shade. Right? I was thinking the same. Different areas. Chill, bro.
guys, we are back at the Bahai Kubo in Sorsogon and today we are having a big family meal. Everybody here. What they do here in the Philippines is they get these banana leaves, put it on the table, then we fill the banana leaves with food and then we all get around the table and eat. And it's called a budel fight. Actually originated from uh, the military where people would actually fight for the food back in the day and now it's become more like a festivity, something you do for fun. Here you guys see it in action. That is so cool. Good job, guys. Wow, that leaf is huge. Yes, just here in the backyard, right? Just from the backyard? Yeah. <laughs> wow, Nanda. So that's how they do it. Hey. That's how they do it. In the Philippines. In Biko. In Biko, yeah. How are you, Ava? I'm a little um, tired, mm. to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I'm ready to eat. <laughs> and look, did anybody order rice? Tene! <laughs> Overcooked, like it's, oh, it's <laughs> higher than, yeah, it's overflowing I just, rice. I just know. It's gonna, I think it's enough. Yeah, I hope so. And over here, Ava is cooking chicken. Yeah. Vegetables. Mm -mm, that's it. Amazing, amazing. Salad. Look at the, what we have. Yeah, and then so they brought over some shrimp and crabs. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for, for this food and for this family for always taking care of us. Lord, sana uh, i-protect niya po sila palagi. Uh, and more blessings para sa family na ito uh, because they deserve it. Bless us, O oh Lord, and this I give which are well with you from the time of future, guys, our Lord. Amen! Kain na! Amen! Wow! Kain na. <laughs> Thank you, O <also>. Lord! <laughs> Right, guys, I'm about to have my Bicolana Budel fight here. <laughs> As you guys can see, my plate is just here, right next to everybody else. I don't have a plate, it's just on the leaf. Banana leaf. Eat with my hands. Abe, show, show us how it's done. Okay, so when you eat uh, with your hands, ganyan, and then you like make a parang triangle, uh -huh. ganyan, and then you squeeze it. Mm -hmm. ah. And you push it. Okay. Like mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah! Morning everyone from the Bahai Kubo. This morning it's raining like crazy. It does rain occasionally in the Philippines, it's usually like in the morning and you have the rest of the day sunny. That's what I really like about Bicol. This region is so tropical, so lush, full of like plants, but it's not like it rains every day. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, that's a lie. It does rain every day, but not the whole day. That was my point. Yeah. So this is our last day here in the Bahai Kubo. We're gonna start driving back to Manila today. The drive we're gonna do is gonna take about 14 hours. We're not sure yet if we want to make a stopover somewhere in Quezon. Might be a good idea. 14 hours driving can be quite long. So 